So I just made it to my first stop, my first real stop, uh, which is Lamy um, in New Mexico, just near Santa Fe. The idea was to take a connecting bus to Santa Fe, which is about 15 minutes away, but the train was two hours late and there's no bus. So I'm gonna have to call an Uber or something. Hopefully they pick up out here. Actually, there's one on the way. Um, while I'm waiting, I'm just doing a little look around. There's some cool old train cars. Um, it's funny, I always have this expression that uh, when you're doing photography, don't get stuck at the uh, alligator. At the LA Zoo, when you first walk in, there's a, an alligator pit right at the entrance. And everybody, when they first walk in, they stop to take a picture. It gets crowded and there's so many other great things. If you keep going, the alligator will always be there. But if you keep going past, there'll, there'll be other great stuff. So I'm stopping this alligator right here, which is a old train car. If you can see it there, looks pretty cool. So I'll bust out the camera real quick. Um, I'm just going to use the Sunny 16 rule. I don't know how much time I have for um, photography right now. The Uber should be here any minute. So I'm going to do Sunny 16. Like I said, or like I've said in before, Sunny 16 is just put, put your aperture to F16, your shutter speed to whatever the film speed is, and then adjust accordingly if you want to open uh, a stop or so. So I'm going to take this shot. It's this cool train car. I don't know anything about it. This looks cool. I'm trying to decide do I want the cloudy side or the side, the other side where you can see trees. So I'm going for this kind of, this angle looks all right too. But uh, anyway, I'll see, I'll show you what I decide. Check it out. So I made it to downtown Santa Fe. It's nice getting into a hotel room or a motel room to uh, relax a little bit. You know, sitting on a train for 12 hours, it, it uh, you know, it can, more than 12 hours. I left at five o'clock, six o'clock yesterday. Got in around three, so. Anyway, long story short, I'm glad to be out of the train. Um, so I'm on recommendation of a friend. I came to Santa Fe. She said it's uh, really beautiful, lots of great things to see. Um, I found this uh, chapel she also recommended. Um, the Loretta Chapel. There's an interesting story in there where they were building a staircase and someone just came out of nowhere to build it and it was a really good staircase. I'm butchering the story, of course. Um, for now, I'm just walking around with my Hazelblad. Um, there's a there's a plaza nearby I want to go check out where all the, the, the creatures hang out. And natural to natural to what I do, uh, I forgot to charge uh, part of the microphone setup, so. I'm not gonna be doing a whole lot of talking. Um, what I'm doing is sort of street photography. Um, kind of put myself to a little bit of a challenge to try to photograph everything in color. But I, as I put a poll on Instagram the other day, some people were saying, you know, photograph black and white. So I brought both. And here, it's actually really pretty with color. I'm trying to cross the street without, and talk at the same time. I'm a talented person. So anyway, um, I put the challenge to, I was challenged to photograph in only black and white. So when I finish this roll of color, I've got a few shots left. I'll switch to black and white. So a lot of what you see today will be in black and white. So uh, hope you enjoy the photos. Just 
Just a quick note about the film that I'm using, uh, black and white film. Uh, it's Ilford HP5. Um, it's ISO 400. I think I found one composition, but I gotta put you down. So there's this uh, part sticking out. I like how the, the stripes are coming through from the sun. Um, I don't know, it's kind of a weird contrast. Some of these buildings, they look really cool. They almost look fake, fake. Like, there's a lot of tourists around and I don't know. Try not to say it looks fake, because it looks well kept and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, so a lot of the angles I want are, I need to be taller, so I'm trying to figure that out. Um, yeah, so anyway, I'm just walking around. But I'm gonna start with this uh, pillar thing. on this cool uh, museum, art museum. Built in 1916. Built in 1916. <laughs> so I found this uh, art museum that was built in 1916. According to the guy that walked past. Uh, I just like how it looks. Um, so it's 100 years old. So I, I would say that's authentic Adobe building. Since it's period piece. I don't know what, what's authentic or not authentic, but I feel like if it's uh, 100 years old, it's probably more authentic. Could be wrong. Anyway, it's starting to rain a little bit. We're going this other side of town. I'm actually waiting for golden hour, so I thought it would be really cool with the Kodak Gold, since it's golden film at golden hour. Um, so this is semi scouting around, but also semi real. I mean, look at this museum back here. The building's cool just in itself. In itself, um, it's closed for a private event, so I can't go in. Morning, everyone. I'm still in Santa Fe. I'm um, headed out actually in a few hours, but first um, I wanted to go to. There's a church over here. Sorry, I'm out of breath. I'm fat, and I'm here. Anyway, so I'm headed to a church. It's the Cathedral of the Basilica of Saint Francis of Assisi. Um, I was walking around it last night, 
just to check it out, but it was closed. Uh, but this morning, this morning there's mass. And uh, that's actually one of the things that drew me here. Uh, my friend recommended me going or visiting the city, but when I was looking for places to check out, cause um, I, I didn't really know much about Santa Fe. I was just looking on Google, Google Maps that is. And uh, anyway, the church drew me. I have a thing for Francis of Assisi. Not that, not that kind of thing. Anyway, um, yesterday I was struggling a bit because uh, I was um, not really feeling focused. I was just like all over the place. I wanted to make videos, but I also want to enjoy where I'm at and feeling like I wasn't finding a groove all that stuff and my insecurity started playing in we're feeling like an imposter um, one YouTube channel I enjoy watching is uh, uh, bald and bankrupt and I really admire how he can just go into wherever the heck he goes and um, doesn't seem camera shy I have no idea how he is in person but uh, my anxiety was on 10 yesterday, um, 10 out of 10, just walking around and talking to a camera, or at least the prospect of that, just, it seemed overwhelming. Plus I ended up packing too much gear, so stuff's getting in the way versus just enjoying where I'm at. I hope I'm walking the right way actually. I think I'm about to pass the state capitol building. <laughs> One advantage to being out early in a, a what feels like a touristy area. I couldn't tell last night exactly. I was thinking there's a lot of tourists, but it ended up being a lot of locals too. There was a park or a plaza where there was like a concert in the park for summer. It looks pretty cool. It was a ska reggae band. I listened for a little bit, but I was getting pretty tired, so I just went back to my room to sleep. So I feel a lot better. Anyway, one thing about being in a what I call a touristy area, I might be wrong though, but anyway, there's nobody around and it's kind of serene. Um, so there's this downtown street, just kind of empty, looks quaint, looks beautiful, all that good stuff. Got my camera out. So I'm headed to the church, but stopping along the way for just little quick pictures. Well, I came for Mass, but uh, it was at 6 a.m. On the website it said 7 a.m., so... Another time, perhaps. Uh, I guess in my next stop. Well, it gives me time to, I guess, chill and relax. And there's a sitting area over in front of the church, so...
back at the station, which is was which is not this the train station's uh, about a uh, five minute walk that way. Um, train's delayed an hour, so I thought I'd come out check out this old church. Looks abandoned. I don't know if I can get inside, but we'll check it out. I want to give a few comments on Amtrak. Um, I don't think it's a fault of Amtrak per se, but they have a lot of delays. Um, they share um, rail lines with uh, cargo trains, so and cargo get I think it's right away, which you know it is what it is. Every time I go to the few times I've been to Europe where um, I've done trains for long distance or even getting around in short distances, I'm always uh, surprised at how good it is. Like I was just talking to a guy there who's from Germany. Um, he was telling me, I was telling him how I, much I enjoyed it there. And also in Switzerland where you could be in the most rural, rural area. And then there's trains that pick up on time. If you come here in the uh, awesome US and um, yeah, it's not like that. Like yesterday, when I left LA, it was supposed to leave at six o'clock in the evening. And as I was checking in, they sent a message saying it's delayed an hour come back at seven it's like okay so I went to go sit and as, as I was about to sit they said okay the train's ready and it was only 6 15 and it left the station by 6 30 so I can't imagine a person who left thinking they had an hour being told by Amtrak you have an hour um, and then coming back and finding uh, the train's already gone and then uh, turns out that train line has some cancellations due to some uh, accidents or derailments or something that have happened so you know you can you can easily get stuck the tree uh, arcs uh, makes an arc or a frame around the church um, I metered using my app I was thinking just use the sunny 16 rule but I just wanted to be sure um, but basically it works out that way uh, I'll show you what I'm doing with my meter app. Basically, you just uh, point to wherever you want to point, and it'll tell you, and you can adjust the aperture, and I'll show you the adequate shutter speed. Um, so with this Hasselblad, so I metered to do the F16. So let's go to 16. I can go to 250th of a second. The film speed I'm using is 200. It's Kodak Gold 200 still. I still have uh, two shots left on this roll, so I'm going to get one shot here, and then there's one more shot near the station that I was going to get. But uh, here I am. I can't really. Uh, I got to step back to get the frame. Uh, make sure the focus is there, and there we go. Kind of moving and getting the frame perfect. Make sure to focus. I'm, just, I'm back at the station. I just noticed uh, they have a fast speed limit for children. So for this last shot in the same roll, there's this uh, train car over here, um, back here, just looks lonely. Depending on how to frame it, because um, I like how there's this train track in front of me, nice clouds in the background, but it's also, um, the side I'm on is in shadow. So it's kind of a dark uh, shot, so it might be overexposed. So I metered for the, the train car at F8 and it was saying, um, 60th, 60th of a second, but when you go out into the bright area, it would jump to uh, 800. That's quite a jump, so I'm um, kind of cheating it a little bit. So it was saying 60th of a second, so I'm going to close it down two stops to 250 at F8. And I feel something buzzing by me. I'm nervous because the one spot I was going to go photograph, there was a hornet nest. So I thought um, I'll skip the hornets for today. Anyway, so I'm over here, so check this out.
Well, that's it for here in Santa Fe. Um, I'm getting on the train a little bit, so I'm just going to go chill in the shade, literally. So I hope you like this video. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. I'll see you tomorrow, my next stop.